Hey, this is Jim at FreeChartVideos.com. It is December 26th, 2010. We're going to take a quick look at four stocks that I think may be poised to run. And uh, just to remind you, this is being brought to you by FreeChartVideos.com. Please visit the site. Support what I do with your presence there. We use time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. And uh, let me just sum this up real quickly down here. The disclaimer don't do anything because I say so. Do it because you think so. You can, uh, you know, please listen to what I have to say and consider it, but do your own due diligence before you make an investment decision. I'm not a licensed professional, and no one has a lock on the future. Uh, past performance is no guarantee of future success. So let's look at uh, four stocks. The first one we're looking at is a, a Quick Logic QIK. And um, it, it looks to me like we're in a uh, channel between this line and this line, uh, which extends to this. And uh, it is currently, it appears to be in a very small little consolidation head and shoulders pattern. Uh, we will probably uh, get resistance around the low sevens, but if it breaks out of that, and it gets firmly out of this inverted pattern here, then, uh, then I think we could head up uh, to test 10, possibly even the low teens. If we take a look at that small pattern that I just pointed out, you can see that, uh, that it is broken out. We appear to now be, to be in a potential flag pattern. And looking at the, uh, looks like I'm going to have to go to a one hour chart. Looking at this um, inverted head and shoulders consolidation, we have a target just over eight with uh, quick logic. The next one we're going to look at is two solar stocks. SOL has been in a uh, descending wedge ever since a nice run up to uh, uh, about 15, and then it fell back into this wedge pattern. Uh, expected support would have been right where it bounced. Now it looks like there is something of a I wouldn't really call it a triple bottom, but but a bottoming pattern where there have been where there have been three sell-offs, and now it appears that it may be firming up with that move made on uh, last uh, Thursday, firming up to get back up into this pattern. If we back out and take a longer view of this, we can see that. Uh, let's go yeah, back to a two-day chart. You can even make the case that this is a very large and long uh, symmetric, not a symmetrical, but ascending triangle bottom. If this is the case, and you take a long range look, and I mean a long range here, we're talking many months down the road, then you may be looking at, uh, at uh, an approach uh, to 30 in a year, year and a half or so. Not saying that's going to happen anytime soon. Right now, I would expect a retest of the highs around 14 to 15. Again, two reasons: you broke this support. Excuse me, you broke this resistance line. Clearly, come back for a back test. That back test also coincides with this rising support line. So I think that puts a, 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 a trader in a good position. Uh, to take a position in SOL, realizing that uh, there's not much downside risk, and if this breaks, then then you have a signal to to uh, get to get out of the trade. I mean, you're going to lose some money, but but uh, you, you hear what I'm saying. It, it's much better to buy here than it would be somewhere uh, in a, at 11 or 12 after you feel like you've gotten a good solid bounce off this line. Now's a good time to be looking at SOL. Uh, additionally, let's look at uh, JASO. Uh, again, another solar stock that uh, appears to have made an uh, ascending triangle bottom, uh, maybe even a little closer to its uh, breakout area right now, which means this could be a good time to take a look at it. Uh, you can also look at JASO, and you can see where it broke down uh, back in 2008. You can see what appears to be, to my eyes, to be something of a malformed regular head and shoulders with a peak, a higher peak, 
and then a failed peak, a breakdown, back test. In all of the past uh, two years, essentially, has been a bottoming pattern the way I see it right now. So JASO may be a good time to take a look at this. And finally, let's look at seed. Again, looking at seed, it looks like this is a, uh, I don't want to call it a neckline necessarily, but there was resistance here, here, and here that was taken out on a huge move that then led to a pullback and what appears to be, again, another kind of a, a complex pattern that is setting up to firm prices up and to take them back um, into what I think is going to be a retest of these highs around 14. Um, if you look at it on a four hour chart, you can see this pattern. It's almost like a triple bottom that we're, that we're having this general area of resistance uh, in the nines, in the low mid nines that got taken out uh, in December and now it's pulled back now it's coming back to another area of resistance so what I'm thinking is is this pattern should win out over this resistance line right here taking prices um, to at least uh, 1350 and potentially to uh, challenge these highs back here um, around 14 to 15. So those are four stocks I just thought I'd bring to your attention and also want to bring to your attention freechartvideos.com please come by take a look around uh, take a look at the forum sign up leave your thoughts and ideas and and learn uh, what others have to share as well take care look for the S&P 500 update uh, after the close tomorrow on the 27th take care